hey, Mr. Machado, <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you. Um, what do we have this week? We've got a lot of things going on, and I'm going to tell you about them as soon as I figure out what they are. We've got the first being the 14th, 15th, and 16th. There's a sale going on at Empire's Comics Vault. Um, there are sales going on nowhere else in town. <laughs> just Empire's <laughs> Comics Vault. Uh, that, I cannot prove that. Don't look it up. Just come here. 14th, 15th, 16th. If you want the details, go to the Facebook, go to our website, call me, come on down, say hi. I'll fill you in on everything. Plus, if you come in on the 15th, which is a Saturday from 11 to 8, the SCCG is going to be putting on a charity art auction. They're going to be streaming it live. You can purchase art. You can get them to do commissions for you. You can bring toys down for Toys for Tots. All the money they raise goes for that, and it will be hosted by Miss Misery. So that'll be Saturday the 15th. The sale is 14th, 15th, and 16th. I think the rest of the year is pretty quiet after that, everybody. There is, it, we're wrapping it up around here, and I'm getting excited for 2013, but we're not quite there yet, and we're still deep into death in the family, death of the family, because this time he's going after everyone. It's not just one person. He's going to take them all out. Joker claims to know who everyone is is that's part of the bat family he's captured alfred he's attacked barbara's mom hey what's up there sir what are you doing you think you could uh, sit down and be quiet while we're filming the video are you yeah. filming the video now yes we're doing it right now Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it don't oh, worry about it i'm just playing with you <laughs> it's so fun to make him feel bad uh, so batman uh has is, is been caught joker's putting on a big scene the cops are surrounding him in this episode, Batman gets confronted by the rest of the Bat crew because they want to know why they haven't been informed that Joker knows everyone that they are. We learn a little bit more about how he possibly could have come to that knowledge. And then the backup story with the Riddler and the Joker was actually, the backup stories in the last few have been some of my favorite parts of these. So the Riddler is being recruited by the Joker. It won't tell you how it goes, but uh, I thought Eddie Nigma was on the side of the angels. Maybe somebody can tell me what happened. The last I remember, he was a detective, working or working with the uh, Gotham City Sirens, working with Batman. I guess the 52 just reset that, unless I missed something. So going hand in hand with that, we've got Batman and Robin. This one, Robin had been left on the sidelines. His dad told him to let him handle it, stay home. He would take care of it. Of course, Robin being Robin isn't going to do that. He turns to uh, Titus for advice which is often what I do. I mean, if I need really good advice, I turn to my dogs um, or Jane. Uh, but Robin goes out looking for the uh, Joker. He finds him and he might be a little bit in over his head, even being raised by the League of Assassins, even being as acquainted as he is with, with everything he could possibly come into contact with. The Joker is something that is just pure chaos. You don't know what we're in store for and Robin finds out. We'll go into some Marvel real quick here. Avengers Academy number one comes out. I'm sorry. Avengers Arena number one comes out. It's got the Battle Royale cover because that's exactly what it is. Battle Royale is a story about a bunch of high school students who are put on an island, forced to kill themselves or kill each other uh, so that only one of them may survive. It was then later stolen and made into a popular book and movie here in America. They're, the arcade, the arcade, arcade is using the same tactics and he even references that he read some children's books based around this in children's books it's really not really a, a child's idea but it's a young adult book written around that he kid kidnaps all of the avengers academy students puts them on an island and we're not sure who hired him we're not sure why he's doing it and we're not sure where he got these godlike powers that he's exhibiting so it was arcade that pulled me in it's a pretty brutal issue that ends with the death of one of the members that you guys may like or a character you may not care about, but they're going to be finishing them off pretty quickly as they mimic Battle Royale. We're now splitting X-Force into two books. Cable and the X-Force is the first one to come out. I've never read anything by this guy Hopeless, but that is a badass last name, and he should be writing X-Force, as he is. So, I'm not really sure what the point of this book was. It was beautiful art. Cable's bringing a team together. I guess they're just doing things on the sidelines since he's a killer and the Avengers and the X-Men would have to bring him in. Hope and Cable are reunited. Forge is in there. Domino's in there. Colossus is in there because he's on the run. And Cable is now without the techno-organic virus. He's gone to Forge. He's getting upgrades. And the end of this leads them into their first adventure. 
So it was a fun read. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm not sure where they're going with it, but I did like it enough to go back. Clone. Image. I almost said Avatar because it's Rip. Rip hasn't done anything for anybody else that I can think of. The artwork is intense. It's a story about a group of clones that are coming together. They realize that they are clones, and there's a certain number of them that are trying to kill everyone off. There's a certain group of them that are trying to bring them in for protection. In this one, in the first one, we got just a touch on what was going on. A lot more that was confusing than anything else, but it left us wanting more. This one here gives you the backstory, tells you why they're doing it, uh, where they all came from. Potentially one of them is the original that they were all cloned off of, but nobody knows. So this one gives you a lot more questions and a few of the answers to go along with it. But again, it keeps it dangling and it makes you want more. Walking Dead, I've just finished off the last episode. Uh, this season's eight until we have to wait for the mid-season break to be over in like February. It was great. If you guys haven't watched it, I won't say anything about it. This one here, the last episode, Carl snuck into Negan's camp and opened up with a machine gun, just absolutely wiping out a ton of his people. That's typical Carl. That kid just does not care. In this one, I can't really say anything. I can't say anything. There is, it really shows how screwed up Negan is, and it just shows you just how, there, there's a twist in there. I really can't give anything away, so I don't know why I talked about that one. Really good episode. Caught me off guard at the end, and it was really, really messed up. We've got more. Fantastic Four number two is out. Some fraction there. We got a little bit more of the death in the family there with Suicide Squad Harlequin. More Watchmen this week. We've got Rorschach, Dr. Midnight. Iron Man continues. We're gearing up for 700. It's 99.1 because they had to extend it out just a little bit longer.